Hi everyone, it's Andrea. Welcome back to the channel. We are about to hit Christmas and you guys said you'd like, well a few of you said you'd like to see all the Christmas colouring books I've got. So I've got them here into three piles. Now I'm not saying I'm not going to buy any more Christmas colouring books um, because I get paid on Monday and I might just buy one or two. Um, but you'll obviously see, see those as we go. So I've got them into three piles. I've got them into books I've coloured in and finished page, with finished pages, books I've started but I haven't finished the page and books I haven't even started. So we're going to go through the ones I've already coloured in and then uh, we'll have a look at the newer, newer ones or ones I haven't coloured in I've, and I've had them for a while. So the first one of course is Jade Summer. This is the Christmas colouring book. I've only done one of these. You would have seen this anyway in my Jade Summer collection. I did the, the puppy. I thought he was cute. Lots of glitter, a lot of stickles. Then of course I've got Christmas Volume 2. And again, I've only done one in here if I can find it and it was that one. I think I've only done one anyway. I will double check. Nope. Yeah, only that one. That looks like it was done with Sharpies or something like that anyway. And Glitter gel pen. And then of course Christmas volume three. I do like these and I think if that's it, I did that this year actually for um, Christmas in July. I didn't finish it in July and I didn't do a background. But yeah, just gel pen. And then of course I've got Jade Summer Christmas mandalas. Or Christmas patterns, rather, I must say. And again, I've only done, I think I've done one in here, and that was the very first one. And oh, no, I've done two. I did the cover one, which was the <clears throat> penguins and all gel pen, and well, that was all glitter. And, and I did this one, which was all gel pen as well, but not glitter, uh, not all glitter. <clears throat> Excuse me. Colour in Heaven, a nice little Christmas. This one was from last year. I did one in that one of the little mouse. Uh, that was done with the gold fibre pencils, the Faber Castell ones that actually came as part of my subscription. Haven't used them since. I should do because they're really nice pencils actually. I love that picture. And I was just did those ones. So I'm gonna try and do some more in that one. And then of course there's last year's Christmas special. And again, I probably only did one in here, I can't even remember which one it was. Oh, it's very, very, oh yeah, that one, yeah, the stocking, I like that one. And that was um, markers, gel pens, and I can't think of what they're called. Pebbles, chalks, I believe, on the background. <laughs> Terrible, I am. We've got Festive Magic, uh, Selena Fennec, which obviously is a festive -y one. I did that one last year. I love this picture. I think she looks lovely. Bauble fairy. A bit of gel pen and pencils. I get. I don't know what pencils. I can't remember that far back. I've got Whimsy Girls Christmas colouring book, which of course is by the fabulous Hannah Lynn. We love Hannah Lynn. She does have a new book coming out, and it's of various holidays, so not just Christmas, but various holidays. I'm looking forward to. So we did that one. I finished that one last year, it been hanging around for a while, and I'm sure I've done another one in this one. I'm sure I've done the skater. I might do Mary and Jesus this year. That one it was the first one I did. I quite like that one actually. The well, snow looks quite good for me. <laughs> and then one of the two colour, colour it books I've got is a colour for Christmas. I've only got two of them. They're very expensive to get over here because they have to come from Amazon US. I've did, obviously done that page. Have I done any more or is that it? Excuse me, just flipping. I think that might be it actually, just that one page. I love this book. I'm, I've got to do some more. I love the fact that you can use markers in it because it's such thick paper. Yes, it bleeds through, but it's single sided. So I love that book. I've got Vintage Christmas Greetings, uh, Creative Haven. And I do like this one. But again, I've only done one picture in it because. I buy so many books and I can't find the one I've done. This is Marty Noble. I love Marty Noble. There's the kids on the, in the sled. There we are. Those two. Did that one. 
really think that's sweet. Uh, Entangled Christmas, I had that one last year. And I only done one in, have I done one or two? One I think, I think it was that, it's just that one. Just that one, I just like the patterns on it. So I've used gel pens, all gel pen. Some glittery, some not so glittery, some normal. Just thought it was a nice idea. Quite nice. Uh, Tin and Olog by uh, Edwina McNamee. Love Edwina McNamee. We did that one. I think I did that the first year I had it. I think I've done another one in here now. Maybe not. I'm going to have to do some more in this book. No. So it's that one. And then we've got uh, Winter Dreamlings by Edwina McNamee. And I, I did definitely did one in here last year. I only got it last year. I just find it. I know which one it was. There it is. Again, I just did this with the markers and just really quickly. And it just, I just like it. I think it's lovely. Grey skies, snow's falling. I've got it green grass, but as you can see, the snow is falling and it's starting to to settle. Well, I do like. I like these designs. I think they're lovely. Then I got 50 Wintertime Mandalas by, of course, Camellia Angel Cova. Have I started this book and done it in order, or did I just randomly grab... It looks like I randomly grabbed a page. I normally do these in order because that's what I like to do. I'll, I'll probably find I haven't done one in here and it's in the wrong section for some reason. I'm sure I must have done one in here somewhere for it to be on that pile. I can't find it. Well, that's a nice one. Maybe I haven't. Is there a... I have another quick flick. It was in the I have coloured in this pay in this book pile. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I remember now this one. The little kitten. I think we did this one on camera's colouring charts. Really sweet. Sometimes it does take a while to find them. And then another one we've got is Christmas Mandalas. This is the small book. Again, Camellia Angel Cova. Just a little colouring book. I did this one. I love this book. It's so, so sweet. And I will do more on this one. Because this is something I can just do with gel pens when I'm watching telly. When I'm not concentrating. And of course, as everybody, I have Johanna's Christmas. I didn't colour in it last year. But I have coloured quite a lot in this one. So I do want to colour in it this year. So I did that one. And I've done that one. I really love that one. Again, the background was done with pebbles, chalks, and there's some gel pen. I think it was done, yeah, it's no, it's ink tents. Most of it's been that I've done in here has been done with ink tents, I think. There are a couple more. Um, hopefully, I'll get to colour in this one this year. Oh, I love that one. I should like them all. Come on, I know there's more in here. I'm sure there's one further back than this. Did the nutcrackers, did that with various gel pens and some glitter gel pen. I know there's another one somewhere. Oh yeah, this one. This one it has gone through slightly, but this has gone through onto the back end so it doesn't matter. And that was the, the lovely um, gingerbread cottage. I really like that one. Again, that was done with ink tents. That might be it, but for me that's a lot in one book. There might be another one. I know I wanted to do these this double page of um, ornaments and I haven't done it yet. No, I think that's it. That's it. So that's... Oh, and I've done this part of this bit. I haven't done this bit in the middle. So those are all the Christmas books I've got that I've actually coloured in. I've got two where I haven't finished the pictures. The first one is Christmas Special Colour in Heaven, which was back in it was issue 29 so it was two two years ago and I did start doing one of the Ruth Sanderson ones but I just don't like the way it looked so I kind of stopped I find it I got another one marked out to do it was Santa but I just didn't like the way that the tree was looking and I guess I used too dark a green Santa looks all right I might have to try it again it doesn't matter because I've actually got the proper book of that. You'll see that in a minute. And the other one that I've got a partially done one in is Cute Christmas by Jade Summer. 
which I started in the summertime this year for Christmas in July and I just never got around to finishing. Um, I was looking at this stuff and I'm wondering what is that in the background? Is it snow? He's inside or is he? I would say he is because of the decorations but I don't know what this is. Is it tinsel? I, I don't know that's why I haven't finished it so I'm just gonna have to suck it up and make a decision <coughs> excuse me of what I think that is and just do it. So there's that one. We're now on to the books I've got that I've not ever coloured in. Some of these I've had for a few years, some of these are brand new. I still haven't coloured in Escape to Christmas Past. I did pick this picture to do because I love doing baubles and I'm going to do that this year. I'm going to do it this year. I'll use pencils and gel pens because I like to glitter the um, baubles but I am going to do this. This is one I'm definitely going to do this double page this year. <laughs> We've got Jade Summer's Christmas mandalas. I only bought this this year, bought this in the summer, ready for Christmas. I like patterns like this, they're easy to colour and I can just sit and do them without thinking like when I'm watching telly or when we're doing a quiz in between rounds. I've also got Jade Summer's Wonderful Christmas. I got this last year and I haven't coloured it yet. So a bit more in depth than the normal cutesy Christmas ones. Oh, there's some nice ones in there. I will find one to do, I guess. I think I picked a picture out, which was that one. Yeah, might do it this year. I hope so. I've got the Christmas Animals Cameron book. Again, this is Jade Summer. I picked it up in the summertime. Ready for Christmas. Um, yeah, it's, it's a bit different. It's got animals. I like that one. Um, and that one's quite good. Um, yeah, animals and Christmas. Who couldn't... Well, look, a unicorn and a Christmas tree. It's totally got to be coloured. <laughs> I've got Christmas flowers. Again, Jade Summer, because I have almost 100 Jade Summer books. I'm not going to lie, we all know I love Jade Summer. Yeah, and this is nice and simple, flowery things, bells, decorations, so, little snowmen, the poinsettias, little roses. Nice, I like that one. That's all the Jade Summers. Um, two more that I bought this year was uh, two of the Coloring Book Cafe because I've never bought any of their books and I thought, you know what, let's have a look. <coughs> well, I've got Gingerbread Life. There is a flip through of this up on the channel. And I think it's, it's just a really nice book. With little gingerbread cottages and gingerbread men and gingerbread ornaments. Going to use a lot of that orangey brown colour. And I got Santa's Little Christmas Coloring Book, which is a smaller bit book, but it's, it's still by Coloring Book Cafe. And there's a flip through Gingerbread Life up, and there's one of this filmed, but I haven't put it up yet. I'll be putting it up in the next day, or it might be up when you see this, but I, I think that's so cute. Nice, simple pictures, not too complicated. Some of them are, but some of them aren't. Then we've got the uh, Ruth Sanderson book. Santa's Christmas Grayscale and it is intimidating as hell. I think I'm going to try and hit this with a uh, pencil rather than pen. Some of it's too in-depth I think to use uh, pens on so yeah I will have a go at a simple one Then none of them are simple but one of the other ones. I quite like this one with them skating the Victorian dresses and stuff. I like that one. New one I got is Christmas Fun Festive Girls Colouring Book by Deborah Muller. I love there's so many pictures in here I want to colour that I'm going to probably go mad. A bit Deborah Muller mad this Christmas I'm hoping because I love this book. There are just so many like the skater, she's building a snowman, just sitting there with a dog. I, I just think they're just fantastic. I'm, I, I do want to colour more than one in this book. I've got a lot of books to colour in over Christmas. Good job. And of course Fairy Merry Christmas also by Deborah Muller because I don't already have enough Christmas books or colouring books in general. So, but if I can get this onto my, oh I've coloured in that book shelf, that would be great. You know how I keep all my colouring books separate, well I've had to rearrange them again and I might do another tour and show you it another day, how I store all my stuff. It's getting out of hand. 
Anyway, back to the Christmas colour books. We've got Christmas Darlings by a Kelly Horton. I have all the Darlings book now apart from Steampunk and I'll be getting that soon. Again, I mean, I love that one. It's just such a beautiful, simple picture that I am definitely going to be colouring in this book. <clears throat> I got a few, I got two Relax with Arts. I've got the a Vintage Christmas. I think this was last year. Issue 30 of these specials. I don't often pick these up. It's got to be an issue I really want. Mm. I usually try and get the Halloween related ones, Christmas related ones. I've got the Decades ones just because it's something that interests me with the different fashions. But this is the Christmas one. Um, vintage Christmas. I love the angel. Um, so I'm going to try and colour in this one this year. I do like... I do like these books. The paper's not bad in them either, to be honest, considering it's... It, this is £3.50. Um, and then this year's is called Let It Snow, and that's this one. I've seen some lovely pictures. Oh, I love that one of Santa. Coloured in, in this book already, so I'm going to have to have a go at it, I think. Last two, of course, are Colour in Heaven. We've got the Elves Behaving Badly colouring book. Uh, this is from the collection, so this is when you order. Actually, I love this one. Help, stuck in pants. Stuck in undies. I think that's great. In a jar. <coughs> some of them are simple. Some of them are a bit more in-depth, but I just really like it. I think it's quite funny. I saw it and I thought, I really want this. And I hesitated buying it because I thought, I hope they have it in my local branch of supermarket because I picked up one in a supermarket. I picked one up somewhere at some point. I don't know where I got it, which was Sean the Sheep. I haven't coloured it yet, but I've still got it. Um, but I didn't, so I had to order it from their website. And, of course, the subscription issue, which is the Cutesy Christmas Special. I've seen lots done from this book already. I have been very good. I haven't touched it, because I do not start Christmas colouring until De December 1st. And I pretty much, other than patterns, because but I've got plenty of Christmas patterns as well, I tend to dedicate the whole month of December to these Christmas books. So I've got a ton of new ones to colour in, and I want to do some pictures in the old ones, but this one, I am thinking I'm going to use watercolours on these ones, because I think the old-fashioned style really lends it to watercolours. And I know that watercolours go all right on this paper. Not brilliant, but it does go okay. But there's lots of lovely pictures. I mean, look at that. So cute. A lot of mice ones. I don't mind the mice ones. I think the, the mice are cute. These are by Ruth Sanderson. And I think they're lovely. I love the mouse family. There's some... Um, what else? I think there's some... Gen Cats. I like Gen Cats. There is... Um, Hannah Lynn, that's the one I did from the book Whimsy Girls Christmas. So there's some Whimsy Girls Christmas in here as well, which is quite nice. I mean, obviously I've got the book Whimsy Girl. I like that one. I might do that one because I can do it again. And if I don't like what, the way it turns out, I could do it with watercolours in one book. Pens in the other one and pencils. So there we go. That is my Christmas colouring book collection as it stands on the 1st of December. I may order some more. It depends on what comes out. Like I said, if Jade Summer put out their, um, what do they call it, their Chibi and Kawaii Girls in the grayscale, I will be definitely picking those up. Deborah Muller has got another one out, so I might, might pick up one of those. And I'm always looking at, at other potential purchases, obviously, because I just love them. Selena Fennec has got a new book out, but it's not Christmas, and I desperately want it because it's a dark fantasy book, and I love that sort of colouring book. I've got to be careful, I'm running out of space. Anyway, if you want to see me colour in any of these books, even if it's one I've coloured in, I don't mind. If it's one I've coloured in, that's fine. Um, if you want to see me colour in one for a colouring chat, let me know down in the comments below. And we'll try and do as many of them as we can on camera. If you want to see something specific. It can be any book, so any one of the new ones, any one of the old ones. I don't mind if you want your hand as Christmas, that's fine. If you want to an analogue, that's fine, we'll do that. If you want, I don't know. Whimsy Girls Christmas and other things, they're very in-depth. But whatever you want, let me know down in the comments below and I will happily do that for you. I do hope you've enjoyed this video. I look forward to your comments as always. And I will see you very, very soon in my next video. So thank you very much for joining me and bye-bye guys.